Now Tiger Walk is the official start to the Auburn Game Day experience. And the energy and electricity from Tiger Walk is brought inside Jordan Hare Stadium where people like this are America's game is back. So Astros fans, grab your peanuts and Cracker Jacks and head on down to Minute Maid Park because baseball is back. If you haven't been able to tell by the fans or the white toilet paper, I think you can tell who won the 2017 Iron Bowl. Spring break is in full effect here in Houston. As you can see, the crowds behind me at the rodeo are quite large for tonight. But the best time to come is during the day where you can enjoy the food and fun crowd free. With day one wrapping up in Nashville, all eyes were on Auburn and the federal investigation that is rocking the college basketball community. The oldest rivalry in the Deep South added a new chapter to its story tonight, and it's one Auburn fans will be talking about for ages. For the Tigers to get their third straight win in College Station, they knew they would have to pull together for a total team effort. The Auburn Tigers look to get their second road win of the season tonight in a place that they haven't won at in over a decade. But the real question was, could the Auburn Tigers put together two halves to win in Death Valley for the first time since 1999? With day one wrapping up in Nashville, all eyes were on Auburn and the federal investigation that is rocking the college basketball community. Again, I think because, that, uh, because of our situation right now, at this time, that's just, I can't comment on those kind of things. I hope you understand. The most repeated words of the day from Bruce Pearl and Auburn players. I have no comment on that, sorry. We can't comment on that. With the cloud of the bribery scheme looming over the heads of Auburn, current team members feel they are more focused on the game itself. We really don't worry about that for real, for real, because we can't control it. So we focus on what we can control as is going to practice, being ready to go, and just trying to get better and trying to get ready for the team, ready for the season. Sad case, but we're, we're moving forward from there. The Auburn basketball team now has many unknowns moving into the season, with no timetable being set for further investigations. But imagine as we continue uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to get, we'll have more information and perhaps have some more clarity. The FBI report has called some of Auburn's players into question, leaving some to wonder about their eligibility. As of yesterday in practice, every player that we have on the roster uh, was in practice. However, the investigation is the last thing on the Auburn players' minds. They just can't wait to go out there and play. I wait to get started, start going. Despite the federal investigation, Auburn's basketball team will tip off its season in the beginning of November before traveling for the Charleston Classic. In Nashville, Sarah Polcheski, Eagle Eye Sports. Orange, blue, and loud. Three words that describe Jordan Hare Stadium on game day. It's crazy. Like there's so many people and like everybody is like um, it's so excited. School spirit. This game day excitement begins early in the morning, but is intensified two hours before kickoff outside the stadium. Tiger fans pack the streets just to cheer on their team before they even hit the field. Now Tiger Walk is the official start to the Auburn game day experience. And the energy and electricity from Tiger Walk is brought inside Jordan Hare Stadium where people like this are Tiger fans fill the stands with the band playing the fight song as they wait for a band favorite moment. Definitely the Eagle flying down. The quintessential Auburn tradition. The Eagle flight 30 minutes before kickoff. You know, that Eagle touches midfield and everybody just goes, boy, I mean, it's just awesome. You just get chills watching that. It's great. From the moment the Eagle touches down, Tiger fans grow louder and louder until kickoff. For ESPNU, I'm Sarah Polcheski. The city of Auburn has officially been overtaken by a sea of orange and blue. With the new football season come several changes to game day. Today's kind of to figure out how, what all's gonna happen this year. Prior to Auburn's first game, Auburn Athletics announced 25 game day enhancements that would be coming to the Plains. Enhancements include RV parking, more concessions, and a sign making station for Tiger Walk. I think it's kind of cool, real neat game day experience. I think Auburn's finally starting to catch up with some of the other schools. The biggest addition to the pregame experience was a tailgate outside of Plainsman Park that included food, games, and music. I think having something for the young ones to do will encourage more families to come and tailgate. Now these game day enhancements that came outside the stadium, you might not have heard about before today, but the one that caused a lot of controversy is actually the one that's going to be right here that involves a table. 
We're super, super excited. It's going to be a really fun change to Auburn. Athletics announced they would be adding a DJ to the student section, but the real question many students were asking was where the DJ was going to be. We haven't seen any yeah. DJ. We've, We've been, been looking, looking for him, here, but yeah. <laughs> Originally, the DJ was to be in front of the mic man on the field, but that didn't happen, leaving students wondering when he would show up. I mean, if he shows up, maybe it could be a good thing. Yeah. Athletics moved the DJ to the upper photo deck below the press box, an area that is hard to see. The move was prompted by potential rain, but the move is now permanent. In Auburn, Sarah Polcheski, Eagle Eye Sports.